Hi there, so in this one we're going to talk about patterns and to begin with I've got a little line here, a little sketch that I made. Uh, so the first thing that I am going to do is create a cylinder. I'll grab the, uh, the base bottom plane here and I'll just draw something out. And we can go ahead and kind of scoot it up and say oh, okay. So the first pattern that I want to show you is the rectangular pattern. So this obviously requires a body. I'm going to switch to pattern bodies as opposed to faces. And then it needs a direction. That's a little bit ambiguous. But basically it just wants any kind of spline curve thing. Probably it needs to be a line. I don't know what it would do with the spline, but this is going to tell it which way to start, which way it's going to be pointing. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag these options out and you can see pretty quickly what is going on there. And you can come and sort of modify this so that it is symmetrical and that will go both ways that way and then this one symmetrical will go both ways that way and it sort of screws things up a little bit as far as like what the counts are doing here. Uh, so it might be kind of a nice idea to have figured that out uh, prior to sliding them out. But anyway, uh, that's the, the gist of it. The important part of this uh, is just making sure that you've got a line there that you can work with. So I'll go ahead and cancel out of that. And uh, the next one that I want to show you is how to make a circular pattern, which I'm going to uh, do around this uh, the cylinder here. So I'm going to make a sphere and kind of copy it around the, this, uh, this top surface. But before I can do that, I need an axis that will serve as the sort of the rotational uh, uh, pivot for, for these, uh, this sphere operation. So I can create that from this cylinder here by going to construct and then grabbing this axis through cylinder and just select the cylinder and there we go now I've got a little construction line there and you can see that showing up here there's my axis so I'm gonna make a, a little sphere I'm gonna just click right here on the surface and then come to the edge and draw that sphere out and let's make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna switch this from cut to new body otherwise it'll just go ahead and, and cut that out and I'm gonna go to create and pattern and then circular pattern and for my objects I'll just grab the sphere and for my axis I'll grab this little axis here and you can see it is starting to populate these clone spheres and what this little checkbox here means is I can actually go in and uncheck these and those particular iterations will not show up uh, if that's something that you don't want to see you can always just turn off suppress and it'll just make them all for you whatever you ask for so that is how you clone things in a circular pattern. And you can do whatever you want with these after they're, they're, they've been created. You can do a little combine operation where you join all these together. And you can do a cut. And, you know, whatever, that kind of thing. Uh, and then finally, you can also use a curve. So this particular operation is somewhat fraught with peril. Uh, it doesn't always work perfectly, but uh, I'll show you how, how uh, it works in this case and you can um, take it out in the field and see what happens. But I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a little sphere here and we'll make that whatever that size is totally fine. And yeah, it's not actually touching the surface, which is not a surprise and not a big deal. I'm gonna go to move and we'll just kind of place it there and then I'm going to go to the top view and replace or uh, basically redo that little operation just so I can be sure that I'm getting a nice intersection between the sphere and the surface with uh, let me go to the right view with this the sphere being pretty centered around that starting point and we'll hit OK so now I'm going to go to create once again pattern and now I'm going to do pattern on path. So I'll grab my geometry and then for the path I can just grab this curve and then just slide these all the way up as far as I'd like to go. You can add more and they'll be all evenly spaced out. So if you had little cuts or ticks or notches or slots or something like that that was kind of evenly spaced along a curved surface this would be an excellent way to go about adding those in so there you go that's patterns